Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to another pinball show. This one is a Stern Ripley's, believe it or not, from 2004, I think, designed by Pat Lawler himself. This one has got a packed play field. So many awesome shots. And I mean, back then they were really putting a lot of stuff in on the play fields and this is from that era so i really really like and enjoy playing this game it's a popular pin and um i don't know how many is made but they're not they're not seen for sale that often now this one <laughs> it needs a lot of love i mean it's so dusty everywhere guys everywhere i mean look at this so on this part one, we're just gonna take a look, make a little damage report on this beautiful pimple machine. It's beautiful, but it's it's just been neglected, you know, guys. It's uh, yeah, I don't know how it plays, how it works. I mean, look at that dust everywhere. I mean, I think this coin door is held by tape because it's got tape everywhere and. It's not the best, you know, guys, so um, let's just go ahead and lift it up. I have a back injury, so I don't lift these pimple machines like Zach and Greg does. I have this beautiful lift, so I just let it fall down on this lift and just press here and it will just come up. It's just so easy. With this pimple machine, it had uh, legs, uh, bolts and... Yeah, I don't know what's inside there, but we're going to take a closer look. So, so let's just put on the legs and uh, check everything before I turn this pinball machine on. All right, she is standing on her legs again. Beautiful stuff. I just took out the worst dust here and on the back side. So that's nice. So uh, now it's the moment to uh, lift up the back box and... Uh, and take a closer look at the play field. <laughs> Best part, man. All right, the play field is lifted up. So, um, I always start by looking inside the case, inside the cabinet. What's back there? What's underneath here? So this means somebody has been working on this. Yeah, I can see it right away. Somebody has been um, working with the magnet. I really hope that it works. That's just so important part of the game. So uh, these cables need to be soldered the right way. Not like this. It's, um, it's not all dirty like old Bell Williams games can get today. So... That's nice. That's, I mean, I don't think this one has been routed for that many years. This is one of the greatest things about this machine. It can actually, when you hit this target, it will bend back. I like this. And it will determine how hard you hit it and you're getting the, I don't remember what is it, the points. It was something, but it's a really nice shot, man. I really, really like it. We have some cable management we have to take care of. It was all cut. So it, it must have had some sort of issues. Another magnet. Oh, this magnet is also really fun in this one. What is this, man? Weird stuff. I hope the flippers are all right. As you can see up here. My guess is, oh, what's this? My guess is most of the times we're actually having issues at the ball through up there. So I think that's why this one has been cut open like that but uh, we're gonna take a I'm gonna take a closer look at that but all in all under the play field I think it looks fine 
yes, I will be giving it some power now because nothing to be worried about. Looks like simple stuff, guys. Well, usually <laughs> inside the cabinet, we used to have a lot of stuff back there, but with this, this uh, pinball, this was included uh, complete new white rubbers, bushings for the flippers, some old used balls, I'm not going to use them, some bolts, nice, oh, this is nice, flipper rebuild kit for the pop bumpers, more bushing and flipper kits, oh, we got some great stuff, oh, new balls. Nice. I'm just gonna clean the oil and install four balls and turn it on. Alright, we got four brand new shiny balls to install. So let's go. Put them in and turn the power on for the first time here. Yes, the LEDs worked. <laughs> that was really important for me. Tech report. Alright, alright, take it easy. Nice. All right, guys, so let's just give this one some inspection. First of all, look here, no broken plastic. They tend to break on all pinball machines. So the rubber, the rubber is gone. <laughs> oh man, it's dirty. I mean, look at this white rubber. Oh my goodness, what's going on, man? Look at this. It's not in the best. <laughs> oh man, everything is just worn out and loose. gonna check out the magnet look at all that dirt in there guys I have hours and hours of work to make this pinball machine work oh man it's a dirty one I know why the bushings were included yeah this one definitely needs a rebuild kit so what we are going to do now is we're going to start a game welcome to Ripley's Auditorium all right nice <laughs> bad condition man let me see here Whoa, the flippers are strong. Yeah, they shoot nice. And the idea is working. It doesn't flicker. Uh, it's just shown that like that in the video. Oh, guys, it shoots off two balls. Um, I don't know if it was a multiple mode. But, I mean, this one, uh, it's in, uh, yeah, somebody, somebody did put some oil on that, don't grease this, so, um, metal against plastic, no oil, please. I mean, can you see this? I mean, look at all this residue from rubbers. Over here, I mean, neglected. It's not the word, man. This 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 machine has not been cleaned in 15 years or so. <laughs> wow! But it seems like I mean the flippers. They are working. They are wobbly. They are wobbly, but but they are. They work. I can make the shots, ram shots. So 
first of all, I have to check this. Um, what's it called? Oh, we need. Oh, I don't know how to activate this. Is it dead? The auto can be dead, or there is some way to activate. Um, I don't know. Maybe the backhead is dead or the opto is dead. We have another magnet over here. Let's see if it works. There we go. That one works. That's nice. That's so weird, man. That's so weird. Yeah, we can pull the ball in. Nice. Alright, so is this shot? I really like it. You can see it went back two times. We're traveling to Oh, Mac, crack the ball again. Real nice. Okay, let's just uh, try the off over there. Oh, that went too fast. Yeah, it works, it works, alright. It feels like most of the stuff does work. Let's see up there. Wow. Okay. okay, as of right now, let's do the ball for now. It feels like it's pretty functional. Uh, we have an opto or magnet issue over here. We have, oh, now it's lit. Wait, let's try that. Now it's lit. Yay, it works. <laughs> nice, I don't know how to light that up. I don't know the rules yet, guys. I'm happy that these numbers they work fine. It's okay. So just a quick test. As I can see, no issues other than you can see how many balls. I mean, this is at ball four. I mean, we have really worn um, rubbers. What? Why is the screw like this, man? What? Why? It feels like somebody tried to repair this and he just gave up. <laughs> it feels like that. So, yeah, guys, I am happy with this. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just dust and it is cleanable. It, 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 and, and most of the parts are replaceable. So it just needs some hours of work. So this, um, this pinball is a, is a nice pinball. We don't have no wear. That's the most important part for me. Um, maybe I'll buy a, a cliffy protector over here. I will take all this out and I will, you know, install it the proper way. I mean, look, look at the, the rubbers over here. There, I mean, this one. I mean, this this has been played and never cleaned. I mean, three pop bumpers up here. Three pop bumpers down here. Oh man, this game is just packed. Look, I mean, this upper uh, right flipper shot uh, at the spinner here in there, target. You can actually also hit there and activate the magnet to grab the ball and suck it up there. Uh, this game, this, this game is awesome. I really like it, man. I really like it. So I want to say thank you for watching part one. I hope you will subscribe so you can see and get a notification when the part two is up and ready because i'm gonna disassemble everything oh that magnet is on again i have to check that out guys let's end the video by trying that <laughs> look at this <laughs> i like that man i like that also the magnet up here oh nice Thank you for watching guys. I wish you a great, great day out there. Look at this, we got a stock ball. <laughs> Shoots well man, shoots well.
shoots well, man. Plays, plays nice. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Hi guys, welcome to part two of Ripley's Believe It or Not cleanup series. So I hope you watched part one. Uh, if you didn't, then <laughs> go back and take a look at part one first, guys, before watching this one. So. The adventure continues. As you can see, I have uh, started disassembling all the parts from the playfield. Um, I actually thought that something was wrong with this <laughs> with this game because I had almost no GI lights working. I had actually down here that one was working, and as you can see here and back there so i went ahead and took uh, everything apart at the, in the inside the back box and take all the cables burn fuses everything and inside the back box everything looks great couldn't find anything until <laughs> i actually start disassembling everything then i found out about this guys Most of the balls, they're just burned. You look, look at that black one over here. Just burned. <laughs> so it was just, you know, dead bulbs. So they're easy to replace. I've checked all the sockets. Perfect connection. They work perfect. So that's nice. The next thing will be, you know, remove the rest of the stuff. As you can see, this one. I mean, we have some. Uh, we have black rubber. We have white rubber. These should be all white, but uh, I mean, look at this. We have got broken rubber. <laughs> wow, man! And when you clean something like this, always disassemble everything under the play field. The ball touches. The bolt rule, of course, in here you have to take off the whole assembly there and clean everything. Uh, clean the shooter lane over there. Uh, hold this one up with this one and this one. Just clean it. As you can see, this one has holes here. So, yeah, a lot of stuff under the play field. Over here, over the magnet, I will put on some sort of mylar. Uh, this one is in okay condition i have seen them destroyed over here and up here so i will protect this with some mylar um, and again i will put on some mylar over here i mean this one has got hasn't got no wear here i haven't seen any issues down here but just to be safe, safe you know so i'm gonna put on some mylar there also uh, other than that it just <laughs> missing bulb here okay other than that, as you can see, it needs a lot, a lot of cleaning, a lot of love. I mean, look at the backside over here. How much dust and crust we have around the pups. Yeah, again, many, many hours of work to go. Look at the flippers, man. Look at the dust at the backside. When I started, you know, <laughs> buying pinball machines, I remember I read somebody uh, wrote that sometime it took 50 or 100 hours of work to clean up to service one of these games. And I was like, no man, two hours, that must be maximum. But uh, <laughs> two hours, <laughs> no way. <laughs> so yeah this is how it looks i'm gonna i'm gonna disassemble some more parts and after that we are going to start up cleaning this beautiful beautiful pinball machine love the lock lock mechanism it will it shoots down on locks in here i oh this game is just this, this game is just awesome man this, this this is just awesome so yeah let's uh clean this boy up so 
I have been cleaning and cleaning just to um, to remove all the crust and dust from the rubbers. Um, I have removed all the rubbers that I can. As you can see, uh, pretty pretty dirty pinball machine. <laughs> Ew. So I, I'm not done cleaning. Uh, nothing like that. So I just took off all the black dust from here as you can see guys I mean it's a time consuming process but I mean at the end of the day it will be a hundred times better playing pinball machine when every part is clean we had a lot of crust and dust over here guys but when everything is cleaned up another burnt bulb in there <laughs> Yeah, and we have waxed the play field. This one needs a lot of wax. Uh, it will play. It will play amazing, guys. I mean, look, look at this area was just all black with some white powder from the rubber parts. Um, so this is just first uh, simple clean here. So after this, I will check off some more parts and I will keep on cleaning. Just a little heads up here, guys. I mean, all, already now it's <laughs> it's it looks you know ten times better than, than when I got it. So uh, yeah, I'll just clean a bit more. This um, ramp entrance, the metal part here was um, it was rusty, <laughs> and about that I'm using something a bit stronger I'm not gonna advertise for no nothing but you can actually as you can see here remove most of the rust I mean already now it's, it's, it's looking a lot better than before guys look at those look at this rubber over here Wow, man, this one needs a lot of work, so I'm just gonna install. Oh, of course, everything has to be brand new. I'm not even done cleaning, but one thing that I just love about these pinball machines are the lights in them. I mean, it's just so cozy. So, before cleaning, I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I love to insert these new bulbs, man. I, it's, it's just. It's, it's so magical for me. And it's so irritating when I'm gonna start waxing the play field. It's gonna be <laughs> so irritating, but... Oh yes, another one over here. Let's install them. Let there be light. Oh. <gasps> Brand new, look what happened. Damn! <laughs> so, if you got big fingers like me, Williams actually included one of these in most of their games back then, a bulb extractor. 23-67-67. You just, you know, use these instead. So, yeah, we have some lights here. They look great. This is a thingy that comes up and stops the ball so I don't know how it looks at the video but it's not a light socket as you can see these are brand new um, everything's gonna be new of course but but these 555 they're the old ones so I'm just gonna throw them out and install new more powerful ones because I just love this another light socket down here let's install them <laughs> I can't stop as I can see all the GI lights are fully working now. Um, it was a really dark game when I got it, but everything is just in working order. So next thing will be more cleanup. And after that, I will uh, wax the play field. 
and then just let the wax and usually i just let the wax just stay there till next morning um, but in this case after this one has been waxed i will start working on all the parts uh, because they are as you can see this ramp it should be you know it has got the most beautiful red color and this is just dusty brownish uh, so next thing is just cleaning all these parts one thing that i'm that i'm gonna um, buy you can't see it on the camera but these lights that were blown they had different colors you know green blue uh red one of them this one over here you can't see it on the camera but if i pull it off maybe you can see it here as you can see it's a red light so i will go ahead and order some you know different colors it came uh, i mean Pet Baller designed it that way, so let's just keep it that way, you know, guys. So, yeah, I'm gonna order that, but still, hours and hours of work. But I, uh, I really enjoy this. You have to do this if you if you love pinball and you enjoy this. I mean, everything else, everything else does not make any sense because it just takes so many hours. Now, this cleanup is just you know a. a quick clean um so yeah it will have a couple of layers so yeah a lot, a lot of works man all the bulbs look at this all the bulbs are just dead on this yeah so all the general illumination looks nice i haven't checked um nothing uh, no insert lights uh, these are all original and if they are black you know then I will just replace them with brand new ones. Uh, new ones look like this. Yeah, so really easy to do. Yeah, it has been a long, long day, guys. Oh, been working and working on this. Um, first layer of wax. Um, it's just I love using a lot, a lot of thick wax on my pinball machines i actually wax them every six months or once a year at least you know so i mean the ball travels much much faster when you wax your play fields it's a great idea i don't want to show which wax i'm using don't want to advertise for nothing on my youtube channel but um yeah there are some different opinions guys just just google it but most car waxes are all right well, this is maybe too much around here but we have a lot of ball action here <laughs> so if you don't like to wax every six months or so then just buy a playfield protector and install it i mean this is early 2021 lockdown everywhere um i was thinking about you know ordering a playfield protector but it will just take too much time and i can't wait and i want to you know be done with this one and play and enjoy it because this is just this game is from the era where you know pro premium le versions didn't exist so i mean back then stern just included everything in their games so this machine is just you know like a super early today <laughs> so it's just filled with a lot of stuff man uh just around all the inserts i mean just give it a go man this this, I mean, this result will be amazing when you're done with it <laughs> yeah you get the idea <laughs> two days has passed the clear coat uh, not clear coat <laughs> the wax is just dried out now i have been cleaning all the plastic parts not all of them but most of them guys and uh, they look pretty decent i think i exaggerated just a bit with this wax because <laughs> All of this it's going to be a nightmare for me to clean up but I just want to show you this thing <laughs> um, this little clip and after this I will probably just clean everything but look at how it looks 
and this playfield had this dull grayish layer on it and look at what's gonna happen when I remove the wax just wait and see oh it's too thick man I use too much. <laughs> if you just just want to show you, so you get the idea how it looks. <sighs> wow! Look at that shiny, glossy playfield, guys. I mean, this is from when two thousand and four or five. I love what wax can do on these old play fields. <laughs> this is just pure magic, man. It's definitely worth it. I mean, as you can see over here, this is going to be a nightmare, man, going into the details. How am I going to get inside there? And, oh man, I've used too much, too much wax. Oh no. Also, what I have done, as you can see here, these ramps, uh, not ramps, were rail ball guides, ball rails, or what they're called. I actually always also wax them, as you can see, when you make this uh, orbit shot with everything waxed, the ball will just fly. Oh, what was that? that was something it will just fly around here have I mean, look at this it will have so much speed <laughs> it's gonna be great to play this man I can't wait oh it was just this one where did it fell off from oh it was over here and I have put a lot of wax at the pop bumper area because this is a high speed area where the ball just flies around. I really like to, you know, wax it up. It gets speed and it also gets this protective layer of wax. We need to protect these play fields, guys. They're old. So I have to va va vacuum clean it after this because yeah, there will be a lot of you know dust and crust from the wax. But look at this man, high speed area again. Just clean it. <laughs> well, guys, you get the idea. Look at what wax can do. It's just so shiny now. I love it. So I will just oh look at this. I will, uh, yeah, I, would, uh, I will just remove the wax, it will take some hours. Oh no. I mean, this area was just black. It was just black, dusty. These leaves were black. I cleaned them and I think they will, they will make perfect contact from now on. It's, it's amazing. It's gonna be a fun machine when I'm done with this, but yeah, many many hours of work, but it's fun, right? Yeah, nice. I've installed a few plastic parts as you can see here, a few rubbers, plastic parts, as you, you can see here at the glare that it's polished. What I actually like to do is, these plastic thingies, I just love to put them white rubbers on. They weren't on and I haven't seen them on this game before, but I just like to make, you know, small mods like that. I like it. Other than that, uh, with this game, I got uh, an original set of rubber from one of the pinball stores. And I was thinking about installing, um, 
when you work with pinball, you have a lot of parts. <laughs> it's just how it is. I would install brand new red star posts, but these star posts are white and they're just like brand new. Usually they will be, if you buy a, an old 90s Williams game, <laughs> the star posts will be smashed. I love to replace them. But here with this original rubber, I can see that uh, at the slingshots, it had included this uh, rubber, what's the size? There we go, two inches. That's just too tight, man. Don't install that. Two and a half inches. That will do the trick. That will give much, much better gameplay. So yeah, just take a look at what you have been getting because these uh, rubber sets, they're also, you know, as uh, assembled by people, human. They can make errors. So slingshot on this game, not two inches. It will just, this will be too tight. So uh, yeah, two and a half inches rubber. This is for Williams. This one is for Coden. This one is for Red. Which game has Red? Dirty Harry. <laughs> Which game has orange? I don't remember, guys. So, has been working on it all day long, and um, I'm missing the left and right ramp. But other than that, it looks really, really nice. All the bulbs at the underside of the playfield should be all right now. Um, and I'm happy with it. I mean, that wax was just, <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of work. But I mean, look at the results, guys. It's, it speaks, it speaks for itself. But um, I'm just off for today because I've been working all day long with this. And after the ramps, I will start um, at the underside of the play field. As I said earlier in the video, hold here, here. Over there, everything under the playfield has to be pulled out and, you know, washed clean so uh, it won't, you know, destroy the ball <laughs> and make it dirty and just let all the dirt on the playfield again after a week of gameplay. So, yeah, a lot of work. One thing that I'm not sure about is actually um, these pop bomber caps. I don't remember if the red should be up there and the white here. I'm not sure guys, but um, because both of them has got, as you can see here, this cut, the white one has the cut over here. So, and if you have done this a lot of times, then you absolutely forget everything about taking pictures or well, if you do something like this, before you disassemble anything, take a lot of pictures. Don't do it like me. <laughs> I just start, you know, disassembling everything. But um, yeah, again, small details, as you can see up here, the extra rubber I have put here. I don't know, it, it, I don't know about the video, but real deal, it gives, it, it gives, for me, it gives a greater effect. I don't know. I like it. Also, over here we had um, red rubber and it was very thin rubber that Stern Machines uses and I have used rubber from uh, Williams Games. They're a bit thicker, um, gives much better bounce. I like it. All right, the hole will be smaller, but yeah, it is what this, this gap. It's, it's, it's big, not big enough to, to make it with the upper right flipper. So it's all right. I mean, do remember at, the, at part one, it was just all black and down here it was really, really bad. But uh, look at this, guys. Brand new white rubber everywhere. And in here, I really like it. Look at this, guys. Really nice. Oh, this one is dead. <laughs> I have to replace that. Other than that, I'm happy with it. I will call it a day and continue working on this tomorrow. It's the next day. I'm fresh. <laughs> this one is about to dry out after a fresh wash under the sink. As you can see, the old rubbers, the white rubbers, they're, they're cracked. 
<laughs> one of them is actually missing. So um, I will just wait till this one dries out and I will uh, take off all those three and replace the rubbers and also here and then install this one. This is the last thing that I'm missing. As you can see, the right ramp has been installed. Looks nice. Really looking forward to play this game. So let's just install the left one also. The shrunken head is also installed. <laughs> so the rubbers are replaced. One thing that irritates me is this one over here. I can't put a rubber on top of that because they're just not room enough. <laughs> but I did it back here, guys. <laughs> so, well, insert lights and GI lights. But one thing that I always like to replace is actually the flashers. Flashers are usually burned. Uh, come on, focus. No. Let me just take a look. Two seconds, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's burned all right. So, what we are going to do is actually just take one of these brand new ones and just install it in here. Simple stuff. There we go. Uh, I have replaced all the flashers also, so GL lights and flashers are all right. I haven't looked under the playfield yet, so uh, yeah, that's the next part. The rubbers, that complete rubber set was just rubbish because a lot of uh, rubbers were missing. So was lucky that I had some spare parts, so yeah, all the rubbers. Everything is just brand new now. One thing that uh, has to be replaced is this one for the shooter rod. But uh, let's just go ahead and install this left ramp also. Now this is exactly why you have to take a lot of pictures. As you can see, I'm about to install this one. And um, it's stuck over here, it won't go down. That's because this pop bumper hits the ramp. And as I can see, I installed that one under here, under this right ramp. So I have to disassemble everything again. <laughs> because as I can see, that cut there, that needs to be cut off. But that pop bumper cap should be installed over there. So yeah, I'm just going to use a lot of time again. So guys, when you do stuff like this, take a lot of pictures don't do it like me <laughs> finally everything is installed everything is connected so the top part of the play field is all clean looks nice feels nice smells nice <laughs> one thing that i always dread when i do stuff like this is actually having some screws extra parts you know but in this case nothing is left i actually had to add two screws um, add some more rubber from the rubber set and some bulbs that were dead <laughs> but other than that i am really happy with this uh, with this play field the the way it looks i mean nowhere no broken plastic I mean, it's from, I think it's from 2004 or five. I don't know, it's such an old pinball machine, but still looks almost like new guys. So that part is all right. The next thing I'm gonna take a look at is actually the shooter rod. It can go out to about here. And, ah. So some guy has put on some lubrication. You don't lubricate metal that runs in a plastic tube, don't do that, has to be all clean. So I have to take that and the next part is actually I have to disassemble uh, this and this and the assembly under there. So 
I have to, you know, clean everything at the bottom where the ball uh, runs. And of course, also uh, under here. So nothing will be, um, no old dust, dirt will be left. <laughs> also the shooter rod, it's hard to see, but on these stern games, if they had a lot of plays, you will experience a lot of wear around here every time the ball pops up and shoots. This one after the cleanup looks amazing, guys. Really, really nice condition. I really love this upper play field um, with three, you can see three lanes and those lanes you will collect you can see one through the abc the main goal is to ride ripley and you know travel around the different countries in the world continents and this game is just jam packed and wire ramps look at this lovely wire ramp going down here to the left flipper if you shoot the right um ramp you will go one thing is having this exit to the right flipper we have a diverter so you can go out to the left flipper again under here it has a diverter also so it can uh, go in and choose between this exit or this exit that goes down into the scruple down there i mean this is just a masterpiece by pat lawler i mean pat lawler has made some of the greatest designs in the history of pinball but this is this one is just one of the yeah and it's hard to see but look at this guys signed by mr pat lauder himself isn't that great wow man just can't wait to play this game so all the cleaning would be for nothing if you don't disassemble everything under as you can see on the play field, it's just so dusty, so dirty. So I will take off as much as I can. And doing so, it will give me access to, as you can see, these targets. Focus. Yeah. At the top, these were wobbly when I got this game. As you can see, it's down here. and. You can't go in and tighten these because of all the assembly at the underside. So while doing this, I will tighten everything that is down here. And then it should be a playable game. I just cleaned the shooter rod and uh, turned the volume down, but uh, it's just so powerful now. Nice. All right, guys. Everything is cleaned. Let's start a new game. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's check the shooter out here. Ah, nice. Flippers, powerful. South America. All right. Uh, full power on the left arm. Let's see. Oh, super nice, man. Pick on the little guy. Yeah. Can we pick on the idol instead? All right. Both flippers are powerful. Really, really nice. I'm just gonna check some ramp shots. Oh, that. Plunger. Oh, let's check this one first. <laughs> All right, two shots. Nice. Oh, let's check this one. Oh, there we go. It's time to visit Africa. Collect five island shots. All right. A red shot that must be over here. Oh, nice! So the diverter also works, that's nice. Let's shoot the idol. You can either shoot it here, hey, that was one, that was two. But you know, Pat Baller, how he is, 
You can actually also bounce it from the pop bumper and let it go. Come on. And, and out. There we go from the back. That's nice. <laughs> really like that. So let's check the mat again here. That's so weird. And if the flashers are working. Nice. So right ramp diverter works. Let's check this one, the middle one over here. Get three in a row. Nice. Million plus. Unlimited millions at your disposal. So this one, I got unlimited millions. I so feel like a million. <laughs> All right. So again here, my favorite shot in this game. Look at all the flashers. They're just brand new. Just new and working. Man. So nice, man. Shoot the left, bro. All right, we have to uh, light the lock here. Lock is lit. Yeah, man. So lock is lit. We have a million shot here. Go. Go. Everything is just clean, it's just so snappy, it plays amazing! Oh, love this! Whoa. Spinners are at max, let's try this. Spinner. Oh, the spinner sounds different now. I feel like a Oh, sounds amazing. Let's try this spin also. Oh, I can do it, man. Nice. So, what's left? Let me see. One thing. Oh. One thing that is missing, as you can see, this light that lights uh, the mini head up. There should be a. Uh, this thing should be also over here. That That's missing. As you can see. When lock is lit, then the diverter will not push the ball this way. So let's make the left ramp again. Right ramp, sorry. Ball two is locked. Ball two locked. Yeah. <laughs> multi ball is lit. The multi ball is lit, yeah. Multi ball is over here. If we shoot jackpot there and jackpot here, it will light the super jackpot, and that shot is just amazing. Looks like a slot machine. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, guys, as you can see, um, work like this takes days and days, uh, a lot of hours. So, I mean, if you want to pay another guy to do this, it's uh, it won't be cheap. I don't think so. But, uh, Shoot again. But if you'd like to work with machines like this, then it's just maybe the best hobby in the world, man. It, it, it's fun, it's rewarding, it's an adventure in every pinball machine. It's just different. I have had one of these games before, I think maybe 10 years ago or something like that. And uh, such a fun pinball machine to play. Now the glass is off, that's why it's just so loud. But uh, what I'm gonna do, the... Um, <laughs> this little idle shot, I love it. I'm going to order a cliffy protector for the whole year. That's the first thing. The other thing, I'm gonna order one of these. I'll put it on over here. Uh, install brand new balls. Um, other than that, while I'm playing, as you can see, down here, that's a residue from wax that I couldn't, uh, you know, clean. 
so for the next week there will be a lot of white the wax stuff that will just fall down and I will clean that up as you can see here <laughs> if I don't clean it up it will eventually go down and go down in here <laughs> but uh, yeah such a nice pin really nice adventure I hope you enjoyed this and maybe maybe you learned something today watching this video so uh, I want to say thank you for your time thank you for watching I hope this made you want to buy a pinball and store it and save it that would be nice guys until next time I hope you will click on that subscribe button and maybe watch another upcoming pinball video have a great day out there guys retro Django out Visit North America. Try a ranch out. Go in Yeah.